And welcome back to Wisconsin tonight. A really popular comedian will perform in Milwaukee tomorrow night. He is Christopher Titus, and you might know him from one of his TV shows, his Titus podcast, or one of his comedy specials. And he joins us via Skype from Hollywood. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, it's good to be here. It's so I feel so just good, just technologically connected to you across the country. You know, it is it's, amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it's also so cold here in California. It's like 61 today. It's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm going to get through it, but I got a jacket on inside now. You are getting absolutely no sympathy from those, those of us <laughs> here in Wisconsin. Well, Chris, first of all, I want to ask you, how did you get started in comedy? Because you are so funny. Uh, you know, I think it's all fear and desperation, honestly. Uh, when I, w I have no other skills, frankly. Um, and my dad, my dad got divorced six times. He actually had a marriage license gold card. And every time he'd go through another divorce, instead of being upset about it or depressed about it, he would be funny about it. So I developed this weird sense of humor. When things go wrong, I get funny. So, that, that, so since my life has gone wrong, my mom's mental illness, I don't, my mom's crazy. I don't mean she's crazy. I mean, we, the jury, find the defendant crazy. <laughs> I, I just, that we have, I've just developed this weird attitude about when things go wrong just to be funny about it. So I became a comic out of, out of, again, fear. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, that is funny, but you know, a lot of comedians say uh, their acts are born out of pain and yeah. past childhood events. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the weird, this last special I did called Angry Pursuit of Happiness, I, I got married to this amazing woman. I met the best woman ever after my divorce and uh, I had to write a whole show about that how scared I was of being happy. Like if you're not used to being happy and when it happens, it's the worst thing that comes Because look, when there's a problem, I know what to do. You buckle down, you get serious, but when you're happy, what do you do? So I, this new show is really, really one of my best. I think a lot of people can relate to that. We don't teach people much how to enjoy life or become happy. Now your tour, Chris, is called Angry Pursuit of Happiness. Right. I love the title. You've got to tell me how you came up with that. Um, because I noticed I was, I was, because I found myself being happy and I was angry about it. I was like, well, what, what do I do here? And I, and I just thought one day, oh, oh, I'm, I'm trying. I used to go after things, success, television. When I, when I got a Writers Guild nomination, writing my own TV show, we used to go after it. These things that would make people every really happy. That if they got them, I would go after them with such verve and anger and just seriousness and ferocity. And I'd get it, and then I was even angrier, so I never got happy. So I realized I've lived my life in an angry pursuit of happiness, which doesn't work, frankly. Because well, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. Come to the show <laughs> at Vogel Hall. <laughs> you know, you're so optimistic. And you, but you know what? You, you speak the truth, and a lot of people are really in your same situation. Chris, can you tell me what can fans expect when they sit, come to see you? Uh, well, you can't expect to see not what you see uh, a lot of comedy shows really funny, but the subject matter, you know, I'm not doing subject matter from the Red Fox did in the 60s. Uh, and it's a whole show. I always try to write a whole show. So it's going to be at least about an hour and 50 minutes. I'm going to do Angry Pursuit of Happiness, which is one of my best. And then I've written 35 minutes of new material that you'll be seeing at the show for the next show called Born with a Defect. I, lo I love your, your twisted look on life. It's great. Yeah. Now, will this be your first time in Milwaukee? Um, I, you know, I did Milwaukee years ago. I used to go on these one-nighter tours for these horrible just one-nighter bar clubs where they left the pool table lights on and bikers were playing pool while you were doing comedy. Um, so, yes, I've been there before, but it wasn't happy. And the statute of limitations is over, isn't it? <laughs> Good. Yeah, so I'm good. I'm, we're clear. You, you are hilarious. And, you know, I think uh, people here will be able to relate to your humor. We hope you have a wonderful time while you're in town, Chris. Thanks so much for talking with us. So do I bring shorts and flip flops? You're, you're more than welcome, but just bring a nice big coat to go over those. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some leggings, long underwear. Christopher <laughs> Titus, thank you so much. And you will be able to see Christopher and his angry pursuit of happiness tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Vogel Hall at the Market. Center. We've got all that information on our website, tmj4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight.